Hi everyone, I've noticed that there's lots of questions on here asking about making choice boards and how you um, have links that are clickable for students to use um, in Seesaw. So I'm just like everybody else, I'm just starting to get the hang of this and I've watched lots of videos and I thought that I would put together my own little quick tutorial on how to make choice boards um, in a really quick and easy way. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Google Docs and I'm going to open up a slide. So um, the slide picture looks like this one here and you would create a new document. I'm working on um, a previous document that I made just so I could skip a few steps while I'm showing everybody what to do. So the first thing um, I'm going to show you is just how to make a background. So I'm going to right click and just change the background color and I'm going to change it to this one here and done. So now my um, slide has a background color. It's not going to move. I can't pick it up. It's stuck there and it's out of the way. The next thing I'm going to add is a title. I always like to put a box for a title at the top and I like to um, make it a black title with a black border and then it, it will just stay there for all of my different presentations and I'll just go in and I'll change the title with a text box. So this um, title is called Road Safety. So I'm going to add that title in. I can change the font and I also really need to change the color because right now my, um, my text box or my box that's going to go on top of is black so I need to change my font color so that it can be seen. So now I'll just take it and I'm just going to throw it up there for my title. And make it a little bit bigger. There we go. So that is just the basics of how to make the title. Now the next thing you have to do to make a choice board is I'm going to make the boxes that I'm going to put all of my different activities in. Now depending on your age level you can have nine boxes or I kind of like six boxes personally. Um, this activity I was having a hard time finding six um, six activities that went with this lesson. So this one I'm only going to use five boxes. So I'm going to pick up my shapes and I'm going to draw the box about like that. And I'm also going to change the color to white with a black background or with a black border rather and a thick outline. Now to make a box that is exactly the same as this one I'm just going to control C and control V to copy and paste it. If you don't like to use the, um, the buttons, you can always copy it and paste. I personally like to use the shortcuts when I'm making these. So I can make all five of my boxes. I can also add in some arrows. Um, and that's just clip art. Just do a general search for some arrows if you want kids to follow a certain sequence. So the other thing that I like to do, I'm just going to move on to my next page here. The other thing that I like to do as well is I like to add my learning outcomes on my page. So down here I have whatever the learning outcome is for this particular choice board. So this one's all about safety. So here's my outcome for grade one that matches um, these lessons. And I also have instructions here for the parents so that they know that they can click on any of the links for a learning activity. So now this is where things get a little bit trickier is you've got the boxes, you've got your text. How do I put in images and text and make it um, clickable for students? So I always start all of my um, all of my choice boards with my titles already along the side. That way I can just copy and paste and reuse the same template over and over and just change the activities as needed. So these are just some of the activities that I found so far that I'm using quite regularly. So this road safety choice board is going to have a video. So I want students to watch the video. I also want them to print and color a coloring sheet. I want them to go to a website and read together with their family. I also want them to listen to the story. And the last activity is I'd like them to do a family activity. So these are just, um, just simple text boxes that I can just easily move into um, my different choice activities. 
Now on this side is where I've just dropped down some screenshots for the activities. So some of you might not know how to do a screenshot. It is super easy. I'm just going to open up one of the websites that I'm using for an activity. And I'm going to use my keyboard and I'm going to press the Windows Shift S button. And when I click Windows Shift S, I can select any piece of my screen to create an image. So I'm just going to click and drag. And now it has copied an, an image onto my clipboard. So I can go back into my document and paste it. And there's that image from that website. I can shrink it down and that's what I use for my images. Super easy to do that and that way you remember what it is and it also gives kids the visual of what it is that they are going to be doing when they click on that link. So that's all that these images here on the side are. They're just quick little screenshots that I made from my activities. So I'm just going to plunk in my screenshots here. Now, I have already gone through and added the links to this video, but I will show you how to add the links for each of your pictures. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up the website or um, whatever it is that you want students to get connected to. So I just have one of my videos here. This is I've just put on Safe YouTube so that there's no um, advertisements or other links to keep kids focused on their task. I'm going to copy the URL. Then I'm going to go back into my document and I'm going to click on my image that I want to add the link to. Now mine's already linked, that's why that's popping up. If you click on yours, nothing will be popping up yet because you haven't added the link. So to make that link, you need to go to insert link and then you'll get a box where you can paste that link and apply. So now you have your link for your image and I've gone ahead and I've done that for all of mine. This one is linked to a website that has different coloring sheets. This one is linked to a comic. This one is linked to a Google Doc that I published that um, is just a read aloud of me um, reading a story. And this one is another Google Doc that I published that, um, that just gives kids a family activity to complete for this um, lesson. So we finished our document. I'm just going to delete these ones here on the side. We finished our document. The links are in there. Now, how do you get it to your students so that they can click on the link? This is actually super easy, and once I realized how easy it was, now I'm totally hooked on Google Slides. All you have to do is click File, Publish to the Web. As soon as you publish to the web, it will give you a link that you can copy to add to your Seesaw activities. So I'm going to copy my link, which I already did. I'm going to control C. Then I'm going to open up Seesaw into my activity library and I want to create a new activity. And this is where you need to make sure that you're adding this document to the right area. I'm going to add a multimedia instruction and I'm going to add a link. I don't add the document, I add the link. I'm going to put my link here and check OK. Now, it, I'm not sure why I always get this message, but I just click continue and your Google Doc is now on Seesaw as a clickable document. So I can check off as it uploads slowly. So now I have my link for students. I can still add in my title. I can add in instructions if I choose to. And now this is where you'll add your activity. So I can add a document 
I'll select it from my computer. I've got my assignments here, and this one is called, um, which one is this one? It's not my choice board. Okay. I found my lesson that matches it. Now, at this stage, it's important that you are using a PDF. So I'm going to click on Pedestrian Safety. That's my lesson. And I'm going to open it up. And this is the document that students will be um, showing me their learning on. So this is different from the choice board. These are just simple activities that I made up that matches the lessons that they're going to be learning from their choice board. So I click check off, then it will upload. So now I have um, two different spots in my Seesaw here. I have my example attached with my link, and I also have my template attached. I can include instructions if I want, but I'm not going to at this point, and I can save it. Now, when students are going into this, you have to instruct them to click on your link. When they click it, they will get a document that they can click, which will open up all of their different activities that you selected for them to do on their choice board. So super easy for them to go in and click and I have it set up so that it always opens in a new window. That way it doesn't disrupt them um, going into, um, into each document. So each of my links are active and it works. And when, I, when they're finished going through their choice board, then what they'll do is they'll go in and they can add their response to the activity. So just like that, that's how you make a choice board on Google Slides and add it to Seesaw so that you have clickable links for students. I hope this helps. Good luck.